Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike, and we're getting ready to start our photo booth construction. And it's uh, Sunday, I'm not sure what date it is. It's the 28th, I believe, last day of February. And we're starting right here. We got a three quarter inch, two by four inch piece of wood that I'm going to cut in half for my base plate. And then we're gonna build a box around that. Uh, that's where the wheels are going to attach to a nice sturdy base plate and then the box is actually going to be out of a thinner uh, piece of uh, plywood, a uh, laminate plywood. Okay, so we're going to get going right here with our first cut and uh, get going. Alright, we have our first piece, nice and clean, perfect cut with this nice new saw blade, I love it. And uh, this is going to be our base plate. This is how big our photo booth is going to be on the bottom. Okay, all right, we're going to start by laying out the 4x8 sheet of plywood for the construction. I'm going to cut out the, I'm going to lay out the sides and the top and lid real quick here. Okay, we got our, uh, my plans drawn up. Well, this is how I started with my plans. Got a little piece of wood here and I kind of sketched it out with an extra little piece on this little piece of, uh, oh, wrong one piece of uh, cardboard then I went and I sketched it out on this little piece of paper here let's see if you can see this and that's the bottom so basically you have your screen right here your printer this is where the seats gonna be inside the lid there's the back door that hinges open with a base plate on the bottom. That's the kind of the 3D view. Kind of looks long, but the front, you're going to have your monitor and your printer port, some handles, the base on the wheels on the bottom. Okay, and that's how we're going to start it. So we're going to start out by cutting these pieces right here, one foot wide. And then these strips for the doors are going to be six inches wide. So four foot long, six inches, and two foot long, six inches. That's for the lid. So we're gonna start by uh, cutting those out right now. All right, here we go. We got uh, our whole thing cut out there on the side of the truck. All right, what we got here is six inch strips for the uh, side of the lids. And then I have the inside of the case itself, uh, two sides in the top and bottom. And now we need the uh, lid case, uh, the door for the uh, the front and the back. Okay, so that's what we're gonna cut out next. And those are two by two foot by uh, four foot. Okay, here are the two lids. There's a lid. There's the centerpiece. And there's the other lid. Or actually the door and the back door. Front door and back door. And then the center. And we'll get into gluing it up here in a second. So we're all laid out. So, so with two sheets of plywood, you should be able to build one complete photo booth. Uh, with no, no problems at all. Okay, so I purchased pre-laminated wood from Pen Elcom. Uh, it comes with the lamination already on it. It's uh, on their website. You can visit their website. Uh, if it's if you have a Penelcom close to you, it's probably pretty good to go pick it up because uh, you're going to get killed in shipping. 
If not, then you can purchase laminate and laminate it yourself. You can carpet it. You can do anything you want, however you want to cover your booth. Uh, this is how my cases are built, so that's how I'm going to decide to go. Um, also, they sell the laminate by itself to where you can just buy the roll of laminate and then glue it on the wood yourself. So purchase the wood at Home Depot and some contact cement and you should be uh, just fine. Uh, they have a better uh, laminating process than I could do, so I wanted to purchase from them. Uh, they're close to me. I was able to pick it up. All right. I'm not sure of the cost. You'll have to get with your man, uh, your uh, your representative. Mine, my buddy over there is Sean, and uh, he takes care of me here in the LA area. The best thing to do is call Sean in LA. Tell him DJ Mikey Mike sent you, and he will uh, send you to the right representative and get you uh, the best pricing possible. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm determining the length of this piece right here. So I'm going to have the two long pieces on the outside. And then the center piece I have to cut down. Right now I just have it at two feet. But that's too long because it has to set on the inside of this area. So I'm trying to get the dimension. So basically what I do is I just lay out the wood inside the piece here. And then I mark on the inside how long this is going to be. So I'll give you that dimension here in a half a second. Okay, I made my mark right down in here. And that, just a, just a hair under a quarter, so 23 and 1, 2, 3, 30 seconds, something like that. Okay, so two foot long, or excuse me, six inch by four foot strips, and then 23 and 3, 30 seconds. For the side pieces, all right. Here's our first lid or door op uh, complete. Okay, there's the basic design, the lid or the front door, the middle housing, and the back door. And the back door and the housing always stay together. And they're all going to be set up on a plate, a 2x2 two two plate, which should be the right size. Okay, here's the photo booth. It's complete uh, for the temp, you know, partial layout. It's all put together, and all we need to do is put all the trim and everything on it. We open the booth up. This door will hinge open. And you'll see the computer inside, which we have to mount. The printer. And I made a little slot for two uh, ink cartridges. So you have storage down there. I put support beams that hold the shelves up. So I don't have to put any uh, anything out from the outside. Just glue these in and the shelves stay right up. And then the printer is pretty heavy, so I put a center support bracket in the center, and I doubled it up. Two areas for printer ink, and you still have access to pop the door open on the printer if you need to, and slide the ink in. But you just pull the printer out, and you should be fine. The uh, still need to cut the holes in the front for uh, still need to cut the holes in the front for the monitor and the. But this is going to hinge off. This is going to have lift off hinges. And the computers. The screen is going to be here. It's kind of hard to see. And then the printer is going to be down here. I have it recessed so the anvil trim or the aluminum trim will be flushed in. So it'll be trimmed out with aluminum on the inside. It'll look nice and clean. And then the same here's the lid. So it's DJ Mikey Mike photo booth complete except for the little aluminum trim and all that things like that that we got to put on. Uh, the layout is completely done. So it's looking really good. Just got to cut the couple holes and I think it will turn out amazing. Uh, we're going to build a little base plate for the wheels as soon as those come in and I'll uh, show you how to do that. All right, so DJ Mikey Mike with photo booth uh, construction, I guess. Leave me some comments down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe off to the side if you haven't done so. 
Uh, I'll try to get the links in the description as soon as possible. So uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Peace.